Hello everyone, I am Chaka. And this is what I want to say this morning. You know, I'm mad at Tiffany Haddish. You know, I'm a little upset with her. And I'm going to tell y'all why. As far as these allegations are concerned, I don't know what's going on. That I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. But this is what I am going to say. She should know better than to even have herself associated with any mess like that. The Bible says, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. It's the God's honest truth. We have to be very careful of who we allow access to how we... We got to be very careful of who we give access to when it comes to our lives. We do. Because you just never know with people. We got to know people's motives. We got to know their, 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 their heart. We got to be able to discern. And like I said, with the allegations, I don't know what's going on. But the situation of the matter is this. Okay? Even, even with her being innocent, right? People pay attention to things. Listen, the Bible also says this. A good name is better than silver and gold. So now, will her even be associated with something like that? Now, people going, she going to be on the radar now. She on, the, she on the radar now, especially when it comes to kids. And, and, and sexual stuff, you know, folk ain't playing today. They're not playing. They're not playing with her being such a successful star. And do I believe these allegations? Do do I? Y'all want to know? Do I believe them when it comes to Tiffany and you know this whole situation? I don't. I don't. Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. Nah. I've been, you know, I I've been watching Tiffany when when Tiffany was on that um that TV show with the kids, kids say the darnest things. Just been watching it, just watch her interviews and stuff like that. I am surprised she's even involved in some mess like this. I am shocked because Tiffany seems like a very very wise woman. You ever listen to her talk? I've read her book. You, she seems just like a very, very wise woman. She don't seem like a foolish woman at all. But again, we got to be careful of who we associate ourselves with. That scripture is so true. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So listen. So if, let's just say, okay, so coming up as a young girl, I was shy. I was very shy. I was. Oh my goodness, I was shy. And I had a friend. She was shy too. So me and her, oh, perfect. But Lord, when I would get around the ones who were not shy. Oh my goodness, my goodness. When I would get around the ones who were loud. Oh Lord, have mercy. All of a sudden, I started picking up them little ways. And I was not that type of girl. I was not allowed. You know, I just wasn't. That wasn't me. But when I would get around the wrong types, all of a sudden, I start doing little things. All of a sudden, I want to start sassing my mother. And I didn't sass my mom because I knew better. You know, my mom was down with them WWE wrestling moves. So I knew. But, I, you know, I sassed her. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because I was around young ladies who was doing the same thing. We got to be careful who we associate ourselves with, y'all. Especially if you're going somewhere in life, you can't associate yourself with everybody. You just can't. You just can't. Because, again, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. So, with Tiffany, is guilty by association. It's guilty by association. Why would she even, you know, make videos or whatever the case may be? Why? For what? For what? Now, yeah, it does sound like a shakedown. It does. 
it truthfully does but guess what the truth is going to come forward because it always does there's nothing hidden that's not revealed how mama used to say it was done in the dark it comes to the light there's nothing hidden that's not revealed and homeboy should have never messed with lizzo he should have never messed with homegirl Nah, you don't mess with, nah, Lizzo, <laughs> she on this whole other level, you know what I'm saying, in a positive way, in a positive direction, I love Lizzo, nah, and you see what happens, you see he tried to put her down, and it came back to him, the word of God also says, be not deceived, God is not mocked, as a man soweth, that shall he also reap. No. As a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He tried to put Tiffany down. Not Tiffany, I'm sorry, y'all. He tried to put Lizzo down. Try to say things, bad things about Lizzo. And now look at him on page six of the news and this and that where negativity is being spoken about him all over the world. Every, you put in his name, that's what comes up about him. That this, you know, this situation that's going on. So be careful. Be careful. That word of God is true. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. As a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know, the Bible got some good golden nuggets in it. If only we would just follow those good golden nuggets. I'm telling you, the word of God has some really powerful, powerful life. You know what I'm saying? Life lessons and just life blessings if we would just follow it. All right, y'all. Bye now.